All right, y'all, first things first, make sure you watch this video from beginning to end so you don't miss a single detail. I know, I know, I know. I haven't dropped a video in a little while. It's been almost two weeks. I've been slacking. But if y'all watched my most recent videos, I'll let y'all know I was getting ready for a vacation. And so I have returned, but I had to take some time to recover, man. And work has been kicking my butt since I got back. So I just haven't been on YouTube much. I know that's no excuse. And that's not what this video is about. I'm not here to make no excuses. Y'all already saw the thumbnail and the title. We here to talk about some action figures that have gone up for pre-order. So I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to go ahead and get right into those. Now you guys know how these videos work by now. If you don't, make sure you drop a like as I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already or you're new here. And let's go ahead and get right into it. Now the first thing on the list we're going to go ahead and tackle is the pre-order of the Revel Tech Street Fighter 6 Chun Lee. Now you guys already know if you watched any of my previous videos, this is one that I was super excited for, man. Anytime we get a 112 scale Chun Lee, I'm gonna buy it, man. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, y'all already know I'm a Chun Lee simp. Yo, this was my first video game crush for obvious reason so this is a figure that y'all don't even have to guess like y'all i already got my pre-order in like i got two of these bad boys on pre-order and y'all know revel tech typically goes in on their figures now i know you got those people in the back yeah i like the aesthetics i'm gonna go with the jaders always i'm gonna go with the sh figures and that's cool but they haven't made this costume. And so for the time being, I'm going to stick with this one. And to be honest, even if they do make this costume, I'm still going to stick with this one, man. Because if you look at this figure, as you guys can see, we get maximum posa ability yo like this thing is gonna be super flexible you're not gonna have any restrictions because of a soft plastic skirt or anything like that and speaking of the skirt from what i've seen in the accessories you actually get two interchangeable skirt pieces which are going to help her get those extra dynamic poses as you can see she does come with her kicking effect and several sets of hands several sets of expressions this is one i'm super excited for man i do wish that she came with a hadouken but of course we're gonna get that with Ryu and so that's just gonna be one you gotta pick up in order to get your hands on that particular accessory I'm surprised they didn't do him first but honestly I feel like they know Chun-Li is going to sell so they were like let's go ahead and start the line off with this one and then as you can see by the promo image in the bottom right they are announcing that we're pretty much going to be getting jury sometime soon as well but this one is already up for pre-order it is slated to release in May of 2025 so we got Got a little bit of a weight, but I'm not tripping. This figure is $80, so that means we got time to save up our coins for this one. And I say $80, that's import price, meaning that domestically is probably going to be around 100 which is exactly why I get my figures on AmiAmi for those of you that want to know where to pick this up at. Now, switching things over to Metacom Toy, we finally got the pre-order for the Mofex Age of Apocalypse Wolverine. Now, to be honest, this is something I thought that we saw like a year ago, and I thought it already went up for pre-order, and I just had completely forgot about it. And so when they showed it at their most recent event again, I was like, okay, so are we getting ready for this to release or what? But no, it actually just went up for pre-order and as you can see i mean it looks okay uh i i think this looks almost like a feral wolverine and it could be because of the hair but we just gonna call him bedhead wolverine because i don't know what my guy got going on here i'll be honest i don't like this design at all nor the next one that we're going to discuss from the same comic book and what's really tripping me out is for one he's missing a hand what's up with that like what happened to his hand and how is he making claws come out of the missing hand because you could tell that that's metal on his hand somebody in the comments tell me what's going on here like were they molded on or or what what's happening here i, I don't know but this figure is already up for pre-order as i said if you want to get your hands on it it's slated to release in june of 2025 this is metacom toys so obviously it's going to get pushed back uh and it is also $80. Uh, it seems like they're leaving that $60 price point behind and they're they're upping them again. And so I don't like this enough to pay that price. 
I did hear a lot of people hated the Marvel Legends, so X-Men collectors will probably pick this up, but I don't know, man. This, this does not look appealing to me at all, but if you want to get it, uh, links below where I get all of my pre-orders. And now for the next figure in the Metacom toy, X-Men Age of Apocalypse line, we also have Cyclops, and oh nah, bro, oh nah, this is not it, yo. I do not like this design at all. First of all, they got my boy looking like he belonged to Metallica out here. Like he looked like he finna get on stage, play guitar in Rex shop. He also out here looking like a whole L'Oreal model with his hair. Like I don't like this at all. To be honest, I feel like the best look for Cyclops is Jim Lee's design. Like I, I, this right here is not it, bro. This is, this is not it. And I know it's some people that really do like this design. There were some people really sleeping on the Hasbro version. I think that one right there was a super peg warmer. So more than likely X-Men fans are going to like this as well. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Cyclops is my favorite X-Men character. And this right here is just, this is not it, bro. Like, I, I don't dig this at all. One bit, bro. This looks... I'm not going to critique it. Let me stop because I know there are some people that are like, this is badass, bro. He got his arm from Iron Man and whatever the heck happened in the comic. I don't know, but I, I'm not feeling this. But if you want to get your hands on it, just like Wolverine, he is going to be about 80 bucks. He's currently up for pre-order, slated to come out in June of 2025 alongside Wolverine. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if one does end up coming out before the other. Uh, but it could get pushed back. I always say that when it comes to Metacom toy figures, just because it's so common with them. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not digging this, but if y'all are, he's already up for pre-order. Go get your hands on him. Moving on to some Mezco 112. Typically, y'all know I really don't discuss these figures at all because I really don't collect them. But when it comes to the Batman lore, if it's something I'm really interested in, I try to drop the info for you guys because I think that they look cool. And if I don't think it looks cool, I'm not going to talk about it. But y'all do know I love some Nightwing, man. I love some Nightwing. That's my second favorite superhero of all time next to Batman, man. And I think a lot of it just has to do with how cool his design is. And that's pretty much how I feel about this figure, man. Something about the blue that they chose, that, that shine and it being complemented by that black. And then on top of that, you got D Amazing's photography, yo. Like that's that's definitely what the selling point of this is. Mezco knew D Amazing had to shoot this. And I know y'all probably get off his nuts. Get off like, his nigga relax. dick, bro. What is you doing? We know he's a good photographer, bro. I'm, I'm just being honest with y'all. And that's why this figure looks so good. Now, I don't know how it would have looked if Mezco would have took these shots, but just seeing him posed up next to the Batman and the Damian Wayne Robin, yo, I really, now I want to go get all three. And then you look and you see all the accessories that he comes with too. Like, oh man, bro. Like, uh, I'm, I, I might have to get this one. I'm going to have to get this one. I know it's not going to pose worth a damn. I know we got the Metacom toy version but this just looks good, yo. And it's a figure I got to experience. I tell everybody, if you are somewhat interested in something, at least get your hands on the figure so you can experience it. If you don't like it, you can always sell it. Now, I ain't even going to tell y'all when this figure is slated to come out because Mezco will tell you something is coming out in January of 2025 and it'll come out in December of 2099. That's just how they operate. So it is currently up for pre-order. It's going to come out when it comes out. That's all y'all need to know. Last but not least, switching it over to some SH Figures to close out the video. We do have the next release in the My Hero Academia line, which we already knew what it was going to be. We have our first look uh, at the promo images for the SH Figures Bakugo Katsuki. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. This looks good. I said it already. I'll say it again. This looks amazing, bro. Like, and that's no shade at Amazing Yamaguchi, but we already know that that Bakugo figure they dropped was not it, bro. Like, this one, this looks like he's him, bro. This is what I want from a Bakugo figure. And based on what I'm seeing, it looks like it has absolutely no design flaws. Like, I can't look at this and expect it to just fall apart in my hands like the Amazing Yamaguchi version did. Now, it doesn't look like he comes with any uh, hands where you can remove the gauntlets. So that kind of sucks. Hopefully they throw that in with some 
other figures in the future but as you can see he does come with a few explosives definitely not enough that is not it right there so i'm hoping they do release the uh, uh re-release the explosive kit so we can pair that up with this figure for some better effect parts uh does look like he comes with a few facial expressions when it comes to bakugo i mean you could give this guy 10 facial expressions or face plates and it's still not be enough he's literally one of the most expressive anime characters of all time and so that's just to be expected you're always always going to want more when it comes to a character like bakugo but i'm really digging this man i do like the look of it and as of right now it's not up for pre-order it's slated to go up on september the third and when it does i'm gonna tell y'all right now it's gonna be impossible to get i already missed out on deku the homie had to pick it up for me so yeah just be ready because bakugo is more popular of a character than deku so yeah and he is also slated to release in march of 2025 so not that long on this figure i'm truly looking forward to it so not a whole lot of stuff to discuss, but it is some stuff that I missed. So I figured it was the perfect time to bring it to you guys since they are now almost all up for pre-order with the exception of the Bakugo figure, which again is going to be going up for pre-order September the 3rd. Uh, now I'm interested in most of this stuff. Actually, I'm going to get everything in the video except for the X-Men figures. I'm just not a fan of those, but to each his or her own, because I know some people are really excited for them. But um, yeah, I do want to know in the comment section below, what out of everything we discussed are you guys going to be picking up what are you the most excited for uh and what do you got to say in general if there's anything you want to get off your chest feel free to drop it in the comment section below i do read all comments even though i don't respond to everything uh, i'm gonna try to be more responsive uh i've gotten a whole lot better but uh yeah we'll see how that goes but again Feel free to drop anything in the comments below, but also make sure that you drop a like on this video as I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already or you're new here. Make sure to hit that bell icon so that you're notified whenever I upload new content. And last but not least, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are. And thank you for 30K. We moving.